The security cabinet may come with a value pack shipper on the pallet, as shown. If this is the case, remove the shrink wrap and set it aside. Start unpacking the cabinet by removing the black poly strapping with a pair of scissors or a utility knife. Once free, remove the four corner protectors, then the box, by lifting upwards. Carefully remove the inner black poly strapping and corner protectors from the cabinet, taking care not to scratch it when cutting the strapping. Then remove the protective plastic liner. You will find the keys affixed to the hopper handle. Use the keys to open the main access door. Four anchor bolts and installation instructions will be found on the inner right wall of the cabinet. Now that you have inspected your cabinet for damage and subsequently signed for the delivery, it is time to install the kiosk for service. Four stainless steel wedge anchors have been included inside the cabinet. To install the cabinet, you need a half inch concrete or appropriate drill bit, a hammer drill, a hammer, and a three quarter inch wrench or socket. Place your cabinet on a level concrete or stone surface where you ultimately want it to sit. You will want to place your cabinet in an area where there is enough clearance on the right side to open the door a full 180 degrees. Then trace the outer diameter of the four 5 8 inch holes in the bottom of the cabinet. Once marked, move the cabinet aside. With an appropriate drill bit, drill four half inch diameter holes four inches deep at the center of each mark. Do your best to ensure the holes are drilled straight. Once the holes are drilled, clear any debris and realign the cabinet with the holes. Then, insert the four stainless steel wedge anchors supplied into the four holes. Tap the stainless steel wedge anchors in with a hammer. Tighten each nut with a wrench to fully secure the cabinet. If your cabinet has a stainless steel finish, clean it monthly with an oil-based stainless steel cleaner. If your cabinet has a powder coat finish, clean monthly with a warm, mild soap detergent and rinse well with water. Use powdered graphite or lock lubricant to smooth lock operation.